appeal and other interfaith representatives. So Reverend Alex Wilson, please come on up. Rabbi Audrey Pollock, please come on up. Bhante Saranapala from West End Buddhist Temple. Imam Salimi, everyone knows from say the Khadija Center. And we're waiting on one more person, but I'll introduce him when he arrives. So I'm going to speak on behalf of the Interfaith Council Appeal. Uh, we've been around for over 20 years, and um, we do a lot of work building relationships with various members of uh, different faiths across Peel region. And we are blessed that we have uh, many representatives from many faith backgrounds. And, uh, you know, we really try to do a good job of being present for each other, standing up for each other. When uh, the synagogue incident happened, we were there forming a ring of peace. And when Quebec mosque shooting happened, the Interfaith Council was with us at various masjids. And again, when New Zealand happened, we were present at many vigils. So I'm going to call upon Rabbi Audrey Hunter, who's the uh, Rabbi Audrey Pollock, who is the chair of the Interfaith Council of Peel. Ramadan Mubarak. Shalom Aleichem. Salam Aleichem. I'm honored to be here with you this evening and extend greetings on behalf of the Jewish community. Ramadan is always a good opportunity to reconnect with one's spirituality through the sharing of fellowship and in the discipline of fasting in a time of reflection and repentance as we thank God for divine revelation. I think it's vitally important for our generation to understand that Islam and Judaism have much in common and especially at this holiday of Ramadan, fasting is one area where this harmony is evident. For us in the Jewish community, a full day fast begins with sunset in the evening and continues to the darkness of the next day. And a minor fast begins with dawn and concludes at darkness. But fasting for all of our traditions really results in bringing us closer to God and to community. We hope that this observance, this month of Ramadan, will bring all of us closer, that it may lead the Muslim community to positive action. In both Islam and Judaism, true change comes from seeing the reflection of God in oneself and in other human beings, as well in, as in finding one's way to God on one's own. So we pray that this observance in Ramadan may lead all of us toward greater compassion and love for one another. Shalom, salam, peace. Reverend Alex Wilson. Salam alaikum. My name is uh, Reverend Alexander Andrew Wilson. As mentioned, I'm uh, a Presbyterian minister, and for the past uh, three years, I have been fasting for Ramadan. And so I think that uh, having uh, your faith can be a very much a uniting part of, of what happens within our society. And so it's a real honor to be to be fasting in solidarity with you. And this is something that we share in common. Christians have also fasted throughout their history, and so we share that in common. And we also share in common that during this time of, of Ramadan, as we do during Lent or Easter, it's a time to be generous. And I've been privileged to be involved with the Muslim Welfare Center and to prepare food for, for people who are in need. And that's part of what we do in Ramadan is to be able to give something back, to be charitable, and it's such a positive uh, influence in our society, and I'm honored to be here. So, Ramadan Mubarak. Thank you very much. And now I will call upon uh, Bhante Saranapala from West End Buddhist Temple. Thank you, Urz. Happy Mubarak. I'm bringing the greetings from the Buddhist community. Uh, I'm very happy to see all of you. So this is the Ramadan season and it's symbolic for fasting. 
We also do this fasting as Buddhist monks every day. It's not all day, from midday to following morning, four, four in the morning. So we are practicing this to cultivate simplicity, to get closer to the freedom. At this moment, I would like to emphasize on one principle. We all are practicing religion and spirituality but with one good intention in mind that is not to hurt others and not to hurt ourselves if we can stick to this principle my dear friends we all can have peace in the world with this in mind i would like to wish you happy ramadan with all blessings for good health happiness and peace of mind. Thank you so much. I call upon Harman Preet Singh. Ramadan, Ramadan Kareem. Blessings to everyone. Uh, as a member of the Sikh community, I'm here to offer best wishes to all our Muslim sisters and brothers. Uh, during this holy month of Ramadan. May the Almighty reward your efforts and devotion to grow closer to Him. Through hardship we are strengthened and learn to appreciate what we typically take for granted. And this is a beautiful time. Anything that brings us closer together is God's work and I see that happening here. We should consider ourselves blessed to live in such a country where we can share in each other's traditions and appreciate each other's beliefs and values so for me, it's an honor to be here on behalf of our community and we wish you all the best in this month and thank you so much for allowing us so generously to be part of your special occasion. Thank you. Thank you very much. Let's give them all a round of applause for being with us. It's very nice to have solidarity amongst faith leaders. And now I call upon the one and only Imam Dr. Hamid Salimi from Sayyidah Khadija Center. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. Because uh, you're fasting, but you still have energy to say alaikum salam. We have wonderful faith leaders who have joined us here today to send a message of human brotherhood and compassion. Ramadan is about mercy, about compassion. We live in a very strange world, changing world, and faith leaders have a huge role for the masses to come together and respect. There are differences, but there are more common things amongst us, and one of them is fasting. Do you know that every religion has a form of fasting? Did you know that Jesus, peace be upon him, fasted 40 days? Did you know that people, prophets that we see in the Bible, have fasted? Fasting is a noble thing and should make us better human beings. The prophet, peace be upon him, says, فَأَرُوا اللَّهَ فِيهِ مِنْ أَنفُسِكُمْ خَيْرًا Show Allah the best of yourselves in the month of Ramadan. We thank those who have sponsored tonight this iftar, those who made time to come and join. Wonderful scene from up here. Wonderful scene of people breaking fast, not yet, a couple of minutes, but it sends a message to the world. In spite of the hate and the insanity, we're proud to be in the city of Mississauga, which is a wonderful city where all the religions respect one another, work with one another, and try to make a difference in society. The message of Ramadan is we show the best of ourselves in the month of Ramadan so we can do the best to become better human beings outside Ramadan. Thank you for being with us here tonight. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah wa barakatuh. And don't forget as you break your fast to pray for those who are suffering around the world and those who cannot fast. 
or are not allowed to fast. We're blessed to practice our religion in this country. So Alhamdulillah, thank you. Thank you for the organizers for a wonderful event.